South American leaders were in Santiago to lay the groundwork for a new regional bloc to replace the 15-year-old UNASUR. It was the brainchild of two left-of-center leaders in the region at the time, the late Hugo Chavez of Venezuela and Brazil's Lula da Silva. But now the political pendulum has swung in the other direction. It's been more than five years since the presidents of South America got together to confront the present problems and future challenges. But membership in the new forum, ProSud, would be conditional. Those in the group must pledge to respect democratic institutions, human rights and the separation of powers. Venezuela's leader, Nicolás Maduro, was not invited. In the short term, many see this forum as yet another mechanism to pressure and force him out. Uruguay, Bolivia and Suriname wouldn't sign the final declaration, while Brazil's president, Jair Bolsonaro, says the new forum will prevent more Venezuelans from emerging in the region. That is our objective here. Be confident that this is what will happen. President Pineda went further, saying Maduro's days are numbered. In Caracas, Maduro responded angrily, calling Pineda an insolent servant of U.S. interests. But even many critics of Maduro are unhappy with this initiative, which claims not to be ideological, but which clearly represents the new conservative wave in regional politics. In fact, a group of former Chilean foreign ministers and diplomats have sounded the alarm, saying that ProSur is in fact a threat to multilateralism and pluralism in the region. Instead of building an organization that defends our interests, we're promoting one that appears to be at the disposal of the new right-wing populist wave that is taking hold of this region. But perhaps the biggest problem with the ambitious forum is that it could be as short-lived as its predecessor, if the political pendulum in the region shifts yet again. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.